COVID-19's days are almost done, hopefully. With vaccines being administered left and right, it's only just a matter of time before everything gets back to normal. I guess now is the best time to get to know the virus that put the world on lockdown a little bit more. Not only that, why don't we get to know more about some of the deadly viruses floating around out there? You know, if you weren't paranoid enough already. This isn't to scare you, of course, but rather a testament to the human spirit. Our ability to continue living while being surrounded by a multitude of dangers, invisible or otherwise, is just downright impressive. The virus on number one has been around for decades, but it hasn't put us on our knees. In fact, we probably already found a cure. Probably. Stay tuned to find out just what that is. Here are the 10 deadliest viruses on Earth. Number 10. The Marburg Virus. Scientists identified Marburg virus in 1967. This happened when small outbreaks occurred among lab workers in Germany who were exposed to infected monkeys imported from Uganda. Marburg virus is similar to Ebola in that both can cause hemorrhagic fever, meaning that infected people develop high fevers and bleeding throughout the body that can lead to shock, organ failure, and death. It's unknown how the virus was first transmitted from its animal host to humans. However, in two cases where two tourists visiting Uganda, it was discovered that they acquired the virus through unprotected contact with bat feces. The mortality rate in the first outbreak was 25%, but it was more than 80% in the 1998 to 2000 outbreak in the Democratic Republic of Congo. This also happened in the 2005 outbreak in Angola, according to the World Health Organization. To this day, there is no specific treatment for the Marburg hemorrhagic fever. However, it has been treated successfully using supportive hospital therapy, which includes balancing the patient's fluids and electrolytes, maintaining oxygen status and blood pressure, replacing lost blood and clotting factors, and treatment for any complicating infections. Number 9. The Ebola Virus The Ebola virus is one of four deadly viruses that can cause the dreaded Ebola virus disease, an extremely fatal viral disease that causes hemorrhagic fever in its victims. The virus was first discovered in 1976 near the Ebola River in what is now the Democratic Republic of Congo. Since then, the virus has been infecting people from time to time, leading to outbreaks in several African countries. Scientists don't actually know where the Ebola virus comes from. However, based on the nature of similar viruses, they believe the virus is animal-born, with bats or non-human primates such as chimpanzees, apes, monkeys, etc. being the most likely source. Infected animals carrying the virus can transmit it to other animals, like apes, monkeys, joikers, and of course, humans. Aside from a high fever and hemorrhaging from different parts of the body, other symptoms include pain on different parts of the body, weakness and fatigue, diarrhea, and vomiting. Number 8. Rabies Rabies is a fatal but preventable viral disease. It can spread to people and pets if they're bitten or scratched by a rabid animal. In the United States, rabies is mostly found in wild animals, such as bats, raccoons, skunks, and foxes. However, in many other countries, dogs still carry rabies, and most rabies deaths in people around the world are caused by dog bites. The rabies virus infects the central nervous system. If a person does not receive the appropriate medical care after a potential rabies exposure, the virus can then cause a disease in the brain, ultimately resulting in death. Tell me, have you seen a person suffering from rabies? Don't look it up because I promise you, the images are going to haunt you for a while. People with rabies will initially feel flu-like symptoms. However, as the virus spreads, people will experience agitation and anxiety, hyperactivity, and excessive salivation, giving victims an appearance of foaming at the mouth. Later on, victims will be privy to hallucinations, experience partial paralysis, and finally, of course, death. Number 7. Dengu. Dengue virus first appeared in the 1950s in the Philippines and Thailand, where it's still prevalent to this very day, and has since spread throughout the tropical and subtropical regions of the globe. Up to 40% of the world's population now lives in areas where dengue is endemic, and the disease, with the mosquitoes that carry it, is likely to spread further as the world warms. Dengue sickens 50 to 100 million people a year, according to the World Health Organization. Although the mortality rate for dengue fever is lower than some other viruses at 2.5%, the virus can cause Ebola-like diseases called dengue hemorrhagic fever, and that condition has a mortality rate of 20% if left untreated. A vaccine for dengue was approved in 2019 by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for use in children 9 to 16 years old living in areas where dengue is common and also with a confirmed history of virus infection. In some countries, an approved vaccine is available for those 9 to 45 years old. 
But again, recipients must have contracted a confirmed case of dengue in the past. Those who have not caught the virus before could be put up at risk of developing severe dengue if given the vaccine. Number 6. Smallpox in 1980, the World Health Assembly declared the world free of smallpox. But before that, humans battled smallpox for thousands of years. Before smallpox was eradicated, it was a serious infectious disease caused by the variola virus. It was very contagious, meaning of course it spread from one person to another. People who had smallpox had a fever and a distinctive progressive skin rash. Now, most people with smallpox recover, but about 3 out of every 10 people with the disease died. Many smallpox survivors have permanent scars over large areas of their body, especially their faces. Some are even left blind. Mortality rates were far higher in populations outside of Europe, where people had little contact with the virus before visitors brought it to their regions. For example, historians estimate that 90% of the native population of the Americas died from smallpox introduced by European explorers. In the 20th century alone, smallpox killed 300 million people. Thanks to the success of vaccination, smallpox was eradicated, and no cases of naturally occurring smallpox have happened since 1977. The last natural outbreak of smallpox in the U.S. occurred in 1949. Number 5. The Hantavirus Hantavirus Pulmonary Syndrome, or HPS, first gained wide attention in the U.S. in 1993. When a healthy young Navajo man and his fiance living in the Four Corners area of the United States die within days of developing shortness of breath. A few months later, health authorities isolated hantavirus from a deer mouse living in the home of one of the infected people. More than 600 people in the U.S. have now contacted HPS, and 36% have died from the disease. This is all according to the CDC. The virus isn't transmitted from one person to another. Rather, people contract the disease from exposure to the droppings of infected mice. Previously, a different hantavirus caused an outbreak in the early 1950s during the Korean War, according to a 2010 paper in the journal Clinical Microbiology Reviews. More than 3,000 troops became infected and about 12% of them died. While the virus was new to the Western medicine when it was discovered in the U.S., researchers realized later that Navajo medical traditions describe a similar illness. This disease was also linked to mice. Number 4. MERS-CoV, or MERS-CoV. The virus that causes Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS, sparked an outbreak in Saudi Arabia in 2012 and another in South Korea in 2015. The MERS virus belongs to the same family of viruses as SARS-CoV and SARS-CoV-2, and likely originated in bats as well. The disease infected camels before passing into humans and triggers fever, coughing, and shortness of breath in infected people. Health officials first reported the disease in Saudi Arabia in September 2012. Through retrospective investigations, they later identified that the first known case of MERS occurred in Jordan in April 2012. So far, all cases of MERS have been linked through travel to, or residence in, countries in and near the Arabian Peninsula. The largest known outbreak of MERS outside the Arabian Peninsula occurred in the Republic of Korea in 2015. The outbreak was associated with a traveler returning from the Arabian Peninsula. MERS often progresses to severe pneumonia and has an estimated mortality rate between 30% and 40%. This makes it the most lethal of the known coronaviruses that jump from animals to people. As with SARS-CoV and SARS-CoV-2, MERS has no approved treatments nor vaccinations. Number 3. SARS-CoV The virus that causes severe acute respiratory syndrome, or SARS, and precursor to the virus that turned 2020 into a living nightmare first appeared in 2002 in the Guangdong province of southern China, according to the WHO. The virus likely emerged in bats initially, then hopped into nocturnal mammals called civets before finally infecting us humans. After triggering an outbreak in China, SARS spread to 26 countries around the world, infecting more than 8,000 people and killing more than 770 over the course of two years. The disease causes fever, chills, and body aches, and often progresses to pneumonia, a severe condition in which the lungs become inflamed and fill with pus. SARS has an estimated mortality rate of 9.6%, and as of yet has no approved treatment nor a vaccine. However, no new cases of SARS have been reported since the early 2000s, according to the CDC. Now it's time for the day's best pick. On second thought, let's call it our second pick. Today's pick is the virus that has the entire world on lockdown right now. We already know what it is and what it does, but let's get a bit more educated, shall we? Number 2. 
SARS-CoV-2. SARS-CoV-2 belongs to the same large family of viruses as SARS-CoV. This particular strain was first identified in December of 2019 in the Chinese city of Wuhan. The virus likely originated in bats like SARS-CoV and passed through an intermediate animal before infecting people. Remember that viral video of a man eating a bat somewhere in China? Rumors quickly spread that the whole pandemic started from that guy. Although I'm gonna say this, that's pretty unlikely. Since its appearance, the virus has infected tens of thousands of people in China and millions of others worldwide. The ongoing outbreak prompted an extensive quarantine of many countries around the world, restrictions on travel to and from affected countries, and a worldwide effort to develop diagnostics, treatments, and vaccines that's still going to this very day. The disease caused by SARS-CoV-2, called COVID-19, has an estimated mortality rate of about 2.3%. People who are older or have underlying health conditions seem to be more at risk of having severe disease or complications. Common symptoms include fever, dry cough, and shortness of breath, and the disease can progress in pneumonia in severe cases. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. HIV. In the modern world, the deadliest virus of all may be HIV. It is still the one that is the biggest killer, said Dr. Amesh Adaja, an infectious disease physician and spokesman for the Infectious Disease Society of America. An estimated 32 million people have died from HIV since the disease was first recognized in the early 1980s. The infectious disease that takes the biggest toll on mankind right now is HIV, Adaja said. Powerful antiviral drugs have made it possible for people to live for years with HIV, but the disease continues to devastate many low- and middle-income countries. These countries are where 95% of the new HIV infections occur. Nearly one in every 25 adults within the WHO African region is HIV positive, accounting for more than two-thirds of the people living with HIV worldwide. There is a silver lining, though. Just earlier this year, two people have been successfully cured of HIV, giving hope to millions of people all over the world. All of these viruses are definitely deadly, but don't count out the human will to survive just yet. Cures are always being researched and tested, and the speed in which the vaccine to COVID-19 is proof of that. Then again, prevention is still better than any cure, so always remember to follow the safety procedures in your area. As always, thank you all for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody!